Let's talk about the new, well, sort of new, convertible Dodge Challenger. Now, I'm doing a voiceover of some of this footage from Dodge Speed Week because they were kind of having a live band playing at the time. Can't have that. Now, originally, I was just going to do a short walk-around video, which is what you're seeing right now. But then the next day, they moved the car outside, and I saw something kind of surprising. But first, a little bit of background. In a former life for several years, I was actually an auto damage adjuster and a body shop advisor. Now in that time, I became a pro at looking for and seeing all sorts of damage, defects, and quality issues. And ensuring quality was kind of a pretty big part of my job. Now all that to say, I notice things on cars a lot of people honestly normally don't see themselves. Now those that know me know that I've been a diehard and loyal Dodge and Mopar fan my entire life. You could almost say an apologist at times. But that doesn't mean I can't be critical of things when I see it. So as I was walking up to this convertible, I noticed the glaring paint issue staring right at me. An issue I honestly wasn't even looking for. I truly had no intentions of seeking out defects. But this was just so obvious that I had to take a closer look and see what else I could find. And I kind of found a lot. So this right here is what I first noticed. Multiple runs at the bottom of the A-pillar here. You can see them clearly in this video. Then going up, I kept noticing even more defects in the paint and bodywork, like these wrinkles or creases, which could be from the painting process or the bodywork, because most likely there's going to be some filler under here, uh, which I'll bring that up a little bit later in the video. Then we go to the other side, start top, and I can see this very clear pinhole or a pop right at the very top here. And then going down, you see some more dimples, more defects. In total, I found around 10 defects on this frame around the windshield, which is a lot. If it was just one or two defects, if it was just the runs and that's it, like, yeah, they look bad, but, you know, you're going to get some issues and, and all that. But to see this many on this little bit of body here is really shocking. And after seeing this, I thought... Maybe I should give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the reason for all these defects is that the shop was being rushed by Dodge to get this car done in time for this media event reveal. Because surely they wouldn't let a car that costs over 100 k after conversion being made specifically for Dodge to be then unveiled and displayed for the media and all the world to see to leave their shop with all of these defects. Sadly though, I'd be disappointed. A few days later at the Woodward Dream Cruise, it appears that Dodge had invited several convertible Challenger owners to display their cars on the field in front of the official Dodge display. So let's go to that now. So right here under the tent, that's the one that was over-revealed part of the Dodge Media event that we already looked at. Now over here, we do have several more. We actually have, I believe, looks like three more convertibles. Now these are not Dodges. These... Dodges. These are privately owned vehicles. These are ones that people have already had the dropped off conversion done because again, this isn't a factory option. This company has been doing this for years and a lot of people have sent their cars to them for a long time. And that's how they got the deal with Dodge. So let's take a look at some of these other ones and see if they exhibit the same defects as the other one. So let me look at here. Yep, I see there's like a crease right there. Uh, we are excited to announce that there is some other stuff coming Oh yeah, we got a pit right there. Been much talked about. Again, welcome. And this is also a Hellcat turned convertible. Let's go this side, see what we see. Oh yeah, there's a run right there, right there, right there, right there. So uh, hopefully I came across video, it's kind of hard to see. Oh my gosh, there are like several runs right there, like multiple runs. Okay, so 0 for 2. Let's go see. Here's another. Actually, the other ones are also Hellcat convertibles. So let's check this one out too. Little defect right there. We have a couple minor little defects right there. I can see a little type of crease right there. Oh yeah, and right here. What's going on right there?
Now overall, this one actually isn't as bad as the other one. The defects on here are much less noticeable, but they're still there. All right, let's go check the third one. Okay, now for this Go Mango. Let's take a look. Not as bad, a tiny, tiny little mark there. Oh yeah, I see one right there. Oh, I barely even looked and I noticed one right there. There's a couple right there, right there. I don't know if it came on camera, there's a little kind of a run. And looks like we got a little trash right there and right there. So we got a couple more creases here, over there, coming back away here, I had someone else trying to get shots, so yeah, uh, I'm going to be honest, like, some of those defects are going to be a little bit of body work, because I'm sure they're using a little bit of filler for all the spots where they're cutting things, grinding things, and filler is inevitable. Bondo has given filler a very bad name. But in any proper repair, you're going to use a little bit. But you have to make sure it's smooth. And so there's definitely spots for filler. But a lot of this is paint. I've now seen four convertibles and all four have numerous paint defects on the chopped up frame, the windshield frame, whatever you want to call that front part. So, hey, I love the convertibles. Convertibles are awesome. And, you know, doing this conversion is not easy. So props to Drop Top for, like, doing their thing and making this conversion work. But if they're going to make these for Dodge officially as a factory or dealer ordered type of car, factory ordered car, I feel they, they need to step up that game because I would hate to buy an $80,000, $100,000 red eye Hellcat, have it chopped up and then have all these defects again, that, again, I did this for a very, very long time. Well, probably I'd say about six years professionally. And I've been around cars my whole life. So I have an eye that looks for it. Most people, honestly, will never see these defects. And I have a feeling most honestly don't because I haven't heard of anybody talking about these defects yet on these drop tops because no one notices it. But... If you're somebody that has like a super attention for detail and if you're someone that sees things like these, like this, you might have a hard time accepting this drop top. <laughs> Uh, that, that's all I got to say. So with that, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative. If you are interested in the convertibles, as always, like, comment, subscribe, comment, tell me I'm stupid for pointing this stuff out or I'm being too nitpicky, but you know, it is what it is. So thanks again for watching. See you at the drag strip.